Hi, I'm Harry Mead, and we're going to talk about getting the right canter for show jumping. I think um, the whole of show jumping can be refined down into three fundamental areas, which is the right approach canter, the quality of the canter, the right line, and then not interfering, which encompasses uh, what the rider does in the last few strides and through the air. There's a, there's a common pattern for horses that rush and charge at their fences and often it goes, goes hand in hand with uh, horses that are, that are held up or stalled on the corner. Um, so coming off the turn they can shut down and then they can take over. Not always but a lot of the time it's connected with a rider who without meaning to can just put on the handbrake and hold up the stride and a horse is intelligent enough to learn that uh, if if they're being put in a non-jumping place it's going to be very difficult for them to jump in very simple terms without hurting themselves or without putting in a huge effort so they normally learn to deal with that in two ways firstly to either um, stop when they get there or to take over and run at their fences. So if somebody's holding them up, they can take over and dominate, which means you get the effects of a horse charging. Now the problem with that is often the easy way to think of dealing with it is to stop the horse by charging by putting on the handbrake, and that's actually the cause in the first place. So the key to being successful with riding a horse that's, that stalls and charges is to make sure that in the moment where they stall and shut down that you keep the canter big and forward and you go against the instinct to draw back and that in turn looks after the charging bit where the horse runs to the fence. The more you can eliminate the stalling bit the less there is a need for the horse to charge and they end up hopefully being able to come in a, in a level rhythm. So when we talk about the quality of the canter and coming in a bigger, more active canter, it's important to differentiate that between either coming fast, in a fast rhythm, or in a driving, shoving seat. And what we're looking for is to accentuate the punch in the hocks. So you really work on trying to pump the hocks, get this bigger, active canter so it's as alive as possible um, to enable the horse to jump. When you've got that canter plenty of options present themselves and one doesn't have to be brilliant at seeing a stride because it becomes obvious.